Good morning, children. Please open up your English language reader book on page number fifty. Now, in the previous video, children, we had learnt about pronouns. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that takes place of a noun or nouns in a sentence. Okay. Now here are some more pronouns which you will learn. Please write on the top of the page final exam. Now let's read the three sentences which are given here. Mother served food to Rajiv. In the picture you can see this boy is Rajiv. His mother is serving food to rajiv now instead of this word rajiv we have replaced it with the pronoun him mother served food to him the teacher praised ashok and me the teacher praised us so we have replaced ashok and me with the pronoun us Number three, ask Ashok and Rajiv to come here. Ask them to come here. So Ashok and Rajiv are the nouns which are replaced by this pronoun them. Here are the three concepts which you should keep in mind: me, you, it, her. Him are singular pronouns. Singular pronouns are used for singular people. Us, you, them are plural pronouns. The plural pronouns are replacing the plural people. More than one person. Now, you is singular as well as a plural pronoun. this you have learned in the previous video that we use you as singular as well as as plural pronoun now here is the list of singular and plural pronouns let us read out me you him her it these are all singular pronouns used for singular people when you are talking about your own self you will say me you is used as singular as well as plural pronoun we use him for singular person if the person is a boy or a man we use her if the singular person is a girl or a woman we use this pronoun it for animals for things and for places clear in the same way these are the plural pronouns us you them now let us do the assignment which is given on page number 51 which will give you a better idea about all these pronouns how they are used Let's put today's date twenty one nine twenty, and write down learn. Now what you have to do in this assignment? Rewrite the sentences by choosing a correct pronoun for the underlined words. Now here the words underlined should be replaced by the pronouns which are given in the bracket. you have to choose one pronoun out of the given two pronouns okay let's start number 1 number 1 father brought a new toy car for my brother and me father brought a new toy car for us so we are replacing my brother and me 
with the pronoun us. Do you want to go with Jack and Jill? Jack is a boy, Jill is a girl and now you have to replace this both these nouns with some pronoun. Now what will you use for these two? Them or me? Do you want to go with me or do you want to go with them? And put a question mark here. Yes, it is them. For two children, we will use them. I will go with Jack. Now, Jack is a boy. So, you have to choose a singular pronoun out of these two. You and him. What is, what is the suitable one? Him. For the boy, we will use him. I will go with him. Number four, Roma is playing with Rishika. Now, what is underlined? Rishika. Rishika is the name of a girl. So, out of these two pronouns, we can choose her. Roma is playing with her. Now number 5. Mother packed sandwiches in the snack box. Which are the pronouns given? It, them. Now this is sandwiches plural. So we can use them. Mother packed them. For sandwiches we are using them. We are replacing this word sandwiches. Instead of sandwiches, we are writing them. Mother packed them in the snack box. Number 6. Radha, please wait for me. I will come with Radha. Now, this word Radha is replaced by which pronoun? You or me? Let's read. Radha, please wait for me. I will come with you. So, this word Radha is replaced by the pronoun you. Now, children, please do this work very neatly in your English language. Read a book. I will be sending you the assignment for the same. And I will give you some more examples for the pronouns which you will copy very neatly in your English language classwork notebook. Okay. So along with this video I am sending you the assignment which you will do in this book as well as in your. Some other examples will be there which you will copy neatly in your. English language classwork notebook. Okay children. So hope you have understood this chapter very well. And you just read out this lesson again and go through all this work. And we meet in the next video with some other topic. Please keep watching all the videos sent by your teachers on eCare Pro app. And also copy down all the assignments neatly in your respective books. Okay, children, so you have a nice day and God bless you.